If you got these two at a retail price, consider yourself lucky. And some of you say that Soundwave is superior, but I beg to digress. He's not superior, but he's the... Welcome back to Bubba Chuck 14. It's another awesome video today because today we are taking a look at the Walmart exclusive Netflix Transformers Y for Cybertron Soundwave. And what's awesome about this guy is remember, we got that Siege version of Soundwave where he transformed into a spacecraft. Well, today we are getting that G1 cassette mode in a modern form. So, this is a really awesome set. And we also get the Spy Patrol Volume 2 as well. So we complete Soundwave's minions. But before everything else, I want to thank my great friend, Ryan Delara, who collects matchboxes and Hot Wheels. Thank you for hunting this down for me. You are awesome, spectacular. And thank you so much for getting this for the review and for hunting this down for me. And what's new in this video as well, is starting on this video we will be promoting three Filipino vloggers every video and today the first three that I will be promoting is Uno the Sichon so if you love dogs this is the channel for you so I will be leaving the link for his channel in the description box and the second is for families this is also a great channel Camp Bell's vlog is a family channel as well. Check out their vid uh, channel and the description link. And then last but not the least is Ritual Canada Journey. I am shouting out this channel because it's filled with great videos for about the Filipina who is having her journey in Canada. So the links for her channel is down in the description box as well. So with that out of the way, I'm pretty happy to be endorsing other Filipino vloggers as well. So let's check out Soundwave and the Spy Patrol to check out the packaging. And here's Soundwave and his Spy Patrol Volume 2. And first off, we take a look at these two guys, Ratbat and Rumble. As And as you remember, I also have the Spy Patrol 3, which were four cassettes. And I already reviewed the Spy Patrol Volume 3. I can leave the link here and you can see that. And in that set, I had Wing Thing, which was an orange cassette. And I repainted in a metallic purple color. And as you can see, he really looks awesome in his paint job. And it's not bad if you compare the both of them, as you can see. So I finally get the real thing here. We got rat bat and rumble but this is frenzy rumble is the blue one and check them out got the product shots out in the back same transformations in four steps and, and this is the main guy the main event sound and he also comes with ravage and laser beak here as you can see in the clear window an awesome artwork of Soundwave. you got the transformers logo and the autobot symbol which should have been a decepticon symbol and then that black gray red artwork this is the earthrise artwork and then the product shots as i've said then not much at the bottom so we've got all of that out of the way time to take out soundwave out of the box and check out how awesome this figure is and here's everything that comes in the box with soundwave as well as the spy patrol 2 first off we'll take a look at the spy patrol 2 so you get the instruction sheet for uh, Rumble and Ratbat, but this guy's frenzy for me. And then you have the two cassette slash shields now, they're updated forms, and that's their alt modes. And as you can see, the Rumble or Frenzy doesn't have any much paint details in his alt mode. And then you turn him around, you can see his robot form, and it's just his robot folded up and then same thing with rat bat as you can see he's got more paint details and then you turn him around 
same you see that folded up bat and then i'll show off my spy patrol 3 which is rumble over here slash frenzy so i painted him up a little bit and as you can see it looks a little bit better than com compared to this plain old uh no paint apps and the wing thing which i repainted and some of the paint scraping off already i think looks a little bit better too with that silver metallic purple and comparing the two of them which one do you think is a better than at the front you can see that but for me this one looks a little bit better in the robot mode so same transformations i want to show the transformations for this guy i'll just show him off already in robot mode later and then for soundwave still got this gun which combines both of his guns into a really big rifle and then you have laser beak and ravage as well as the instruction sheet over here with a really good illustration and then you also have that backdrop that comes with all the netflix figures with still that image of soundwave over here so first off we'll take a look at ravage and as you can see ravage over here really really nice paint detail you've got that awesome decepticon symbol over here and then a lot more paint detail as compared to his siege counterpart which i will show off and here is the siege version and as you can see this one much more looks like a Cybertronian thing or a shield as compared to this which really looks like a cassette and yeah I prefer the paint decals on this one compared to this one transforms the same so I won't show off the transformations and then yeah this guy can still fit as cassette in the cassette tape deck so it will eject well so let's do that again it's really nice it doesn't get stuck and then you have laser beak which is way way better than the siege counterpart i really love how the paint apps on this guy looks as well as on the other side it's just the same old thing but bringing in the siege and here's the old siege one really really plain old silver red and gray and black as compared to this one with a bunch of blues and yellows i really love how this one looks and then it's the same transformation won't be showing that off and here we have the main guy himself soundwave i really love how this guy looks as the homage and a modernized version of the cassette deck and then as you can see they even repainted this because in the old days this would light up with a red light to indicate that the battery or it is recording as com and on this side they didn't paint it and then you have the R and the L which indicates the speakers and then you still have that eject button and then you have the fast forward and re rewind and play buttons really awesome on the side that paint details and then weapon storage for soundwave is here which is a direct homage to the old soundwave weapons which would serve as batteries and then that's that's the back so really clean transformation and alt mode and the paint job is really awesome so I'm gonna bring in the Soundwave reissue cassette for comparison and that's how the two of them look like. It's an awesome, awesome rendition of the old cassette here. And boy, I really love how this guy looks. As you can see, this is what I was talking about. That record and battery light indicator, which is stickers. And as you can see there, really really awesome and then this guy also has ravage in there so let's compare the old reissue ravage and you can see this one is really painted out to be a cassette tape and then 
we will bring in laser beak as well compare and here we have both cassettes laser beak really really great and yeah laser beak can also fit in here really nice with no problem at all opens really nice no problem as well before we transform soundwave into his robot mode i will show off the siege version alt mode and as you can see way way better than this one well this is a spaceship slash carrier thing which i was quite satisfied but not as good as how well this guy looks and it's time to transform this guy into the robot mode so here we go we're gonna transform soundwave into the robot form and if you transform a g1 soundwave it's almost the same concept as this one i don't know why they still went to that spaceship mode or whatever in the siege line but it's almost the same but a more modernized concept on how to transform the cassette into robot so first you remove his weapons and then you untap these two parts from the bottom fold it up because there's tabs here that will tab into the slots here so you fold these two up then fold them back down and then you untap the legs from the sides so you have these tabs that will tab into the side of the chest and then you fold them down much like the old G1 toy and then you fold them forward and once you got that out of the way you just untap the back or the shoulder first the forearms you untap them and then you untap the shoulders from the back and as you can see here, there's slots that where the tabs over here tab in. And then on the other side, there's tab that will tab as well into the chest to lock the arms or the shoulders. Then you got that done. You just swing the forearms around. You unfold the fists. and then you swing the waist because this one will go to the back to reveal the full cassette tape buttons and then once you got that turn the legs around and then much like the old siege sound wave you just untap this part to open up to reveal where the leg is this one tabs really secure so the difference is with the siege sound wave it didn't have a tab here that will slot into the hole in the foot then you unfold the foot out then you fold this in much like the siege one hide that in there do the same thing on the other side and then you bring out the head by pushing this down and fold up the head and now you've got Soundwave all transformed up you give him the weapons so his gun you just extend arm and up and then his shoulder cannon and now Soundwave is here ready to destroy the Autobots really great looking figure and I love how the light piping on this guy looking at his face sculpt over here really menacing red color and you can see that he looks like there's light coming out of his eyes really awesome and the detail I love how the paint job on this side the chest really awesome looking figure i there's nothing that i can complain my favorite figure in all my collection as always and then as you can see here on the leg although it's an unpainted it's an homage and i'm bringing in the g1 reissue sound wave for comparison 
And as you can see, this is the one I'm talking about. The red color here, although it's a sticker, you can see that they tried to put that detail here, even if it's not colored, but the sculpted detail is the same. Then, as well as the shoulder, So if you see that shoulder sticker over here, they try to replicate here with a silver paint. Really awesome. And bringing in the Siege one as well for comparison. So we got the three sound waves here. Really, really awesome. I love how these three look. So taking a look at the head sculpts for these two guys over here. Really awesome. He's got the yellow eyes compared to the new one which is this one is accurate to the cartoon and the red one is so menacing and i love the light piping on this one and then you see all that battle damage paint apps on this guy the differences with the legs well this is a much cleaner look and yeah i really like this better and comparing the weapons as well. Also the main difference for the weapons is looking at them side by side. This is the Siege, this is the Netflix one. They took out the red stripe which is more accurate to the cartoon and the new one doesn't have that, it's just a plain blue, so I probably switch the weapons and probably won't be doing it. But as you can see on the forearm, this got that red stripe, which this one doesn't have, which is accurate to the old G1. As you can see here, it's got the red stripe on the weapon as well as on the forearms, as you can see. And that's the comparison for all these three. Bring back their weapons. Let's change them up. So switching up the weapons. So this will probably be this will be my main sound wave in the display. So give the old ones. So this guy will probably be a lamppost. And then we bring in the cassettes so. so here they all have ravage in their chests so let's take them all out and bring out the minions and here are the sound waves with their minions and comparisons between the laser beaks and the ravages well as you can see the old reissues are really big compared to the small versions of the new ones so comparing the ravages so let's take a look at these guys there's a bit of some differences between the old and the new ravages as you can see the yellow paint apps for the eyes on the new netflix ravage as compared to the red and i think the head sculpts are different as well this one is snarling while well, this one is a closed mouth as you can see and that's the main difference aside from the paint apps and well i guess the paint apps i think this one still looks a bit better for me as you can see there so yeah i still like the new one better it's too much silver and gold in here and then for the laser beak one this one the head sculpts are the main differences so as you can see there you got the decepticon symbol on the head just like the old laser beak in the g1 version and yeah more paint apps on this guy and i really love that decepticon symbol and laser beak said and this one is the old from the first Transformers cartoon head when they were still in Cybertron. This one pays homage to that. And yeah, this one still has the best paint jobs and paint apps. So this one still takes the cake. 
because when you bring in the old laser beak so as you can see here yeah it really looks like the old one and really looks awesome and now that's all the comparisons we have for laser beak and ravage let's take out all these other guys And let's bring in the rest of the minions as well. So you've got Rumble, you've got Frenzy, and then you've got Ratbat, and then my other version of Ratbat slash Wing Thing. So let's take a look at Rumble and Frenzy over here. So you have same face sculpt, same paint apps just the different colors that's the difference between the two of them same transformation if you want to see the transformations for these guys i put a link up here so that has been my review for the netflix soundwave as well as for spy patrol 2 so it got the rest of the minions and for me this is a must-have for all soundwave and transformers collectors this is a really awesome set and it makes me sad that it's so hard to find this guy that you have to pay scalper prices just to get him but if you did get him on a regular retail price consider yourself lucky and this has been bubachuk14 give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos as well check out my playlist and as always do it with style don't do it at all